And those acronyms stand for New Experiences Exemplifies Today. Yes. Amen. We're Amen. just excited yes. to be yes. in your living room. Yes. Amen. To be Praise on your computer, your yes. laptop, or yes. whatever social media that you are, our outlet that you're using. Exactly. We're just glad to be yes. seen. Amen. And heard. Praise Amen. The Lord. So we give God all glory, honor, and praise on yes, the day. Amen. He's worthy of all the praises. Yes, he amen. Is. Yes. And when we think of the goodness, goodness of, of Jesus, Jesus and, and all that, that he's done, done for us, us yes. our soul cries out, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen, amen. <laughs> also, praise we him. want to give honor and give glory and thanks to my co producer amen co-host is the beautiful lovely dr betty god bless you Evans god bless you from god storehouse bless you. ministry right here in san antonio amen. texas what's your amen. famous slogan take a bus a plane or even a train and come to the storehouse where god is for real amen for real. amen so we thank god for dr betty amen <laughs> we we are a great team and we yes. love working amen. together we love amen. ministering together amen. that's true but Very also true. we want to give some love to elder frank burns amen yes. and his team right yes. here in yes. the studio brother yes. leon we thank yes. god for you all again amen. you all make us look good sound amen. good amen, amen. and i'm telling Lord. you know without without proper sound and clarity amen yes. we couldn't get this word no, we out couldn't. We, we couldn't, couldn't get this yeah. message out yes. so we have we have yes. a wonderful topic today yes. for you Hallelujah. don't move don't leave yes. but before we go to any topic we always want to start off in prayer yes. amen thank you, Jesus. Uh, call us at, at our different numbers and put yes. those prayer requests in because we we earnestly pray for each and every one yes, of you all. Yes, we do. So, Dr. Betty, she's going to lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. 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 Praise God the name of the Lord. Let's bow our heads and humble our hearts. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for this time of fellowship. Yes. We thank you for this time and this season of grace yes. that you have put upon us. We thank you, Lord, because there is no God like you. We ask your blessings that our words be seasoned with mm, salt, that it are uh, the ear that hear he that has an ear let him hear yes, we're yes. here that abba is coming back again and that our lord and savior jesus christ is lord and if you don't have him in your life just simply ask him to come in and save you deliver you and set you free bless us all together father in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. amen. Praise the Lord, mm -hmm. Dr. Betty, for that mm -hmm. powerful anointed mm -hmm. prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise I don't know Lord. about those in television mm -hmm. land. Amen. But I know <laughs> I felt it right here in the studio. Amen. The Lord. Amen. God Thank is God. always moving. He's a progressive always. God. Amen. Yes, tell him, tell him what you want. Songwriter say, Jesus is on the main line. Call him up. <laughs> Call him up and <laughs> tell him what you want. Amen. This is one time Amen. you can have diarrhea of the lips. Amen. It's yes. all right. Amen. Amen. A lot of folks want to tell you to shut up, but I'm mm. telling you, open your mouth and say yes. something. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, Dr. Betty, you know, our show is called Next. Yes. Uh, New Experience Exemplifies Today, mm -hmm. those acronyms, mm -hmm. N-E-X-T. Yes. Uh, it talks about what's next in our life. Every month we want to give them a little bit about mm -hmm. what's next in mm -hmm. our life. So what's mm -hmm. happening in this mm -hmm. season? Then we'll go into our topic. Yeah. We're just grateful for the move of God. Uh, there is such a, a profound prophetic mantle that is over the church. Uh, we're growing by proverbial leaps mm -hmm. and bounds. God is moving by his spirit. And we're excited about what is coming. Uh, we will be in November. We will be in 25 years of ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, and God is good. 26, now. 26 you're years of ministry. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be year, 25 yes, this year. Yes. All right. 26 years of ministry. Let me remind you. Amen. <laughs> Helpful, helpfulness. That's We thank God for that spirit. So God is good, and we're grateful. Uh, just passed through uh, a birthday, a very sequential time and mm -hmm. season, and I just thank God for His goodness. Cause mm -hmm. I and I want to thank all of the people. My birth, I had at least a thousand or more uh, uh, congratulatory uh, 
uh, remarks. So I'm just thankful to what God is doing in this season. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen, Dr. Brett Benny. Amen. Happy birthday to my sister, to my Amen. friend. Amen. Her birthday was September the 3rd. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And so she told you a few things what's going on next yes. in her life. Yes. Amen. And so a few things in the life of Greater Faith Institutional Church. Mm -hmm. I am the overseer, Dr. Chief Apostle Bishop Rosa Rosith. Amen. Your <laughs> servant, your humble servant. So mm -hmm. a couple of things, Doctor, we have going on right now. Uh, we have that Stop in the Name of Love movement. Yes. You know, we had yes. the, the Super Bowl Sunday shooting, uh, February 7, 2021. So a That's movement true. was birthed out of that. Yes. It is growing leaps and bounds. Many people are joining us, partnering with mm -hmm. us. You too can partner with us. Amen. Uh, that w that word stop, the acronyms means uh, stop traumatizing, terrorizing God's people, hmm. uh, coming against gang violence, gun violence, home, uh, domestic violence, uh, homelessness, and uh, unemployment, whatever you can think of, that organization that we have birthed, amen, this movement, amen, is under that umbrella. And so one new thing that we placed under the umbrella, we're getting ready for election in November. Yes, we're getting yes. ready for election. Mm -hmm. So it's two ways you can partner with us. I am a registered, uh, I'm deputized to uh, register you to vote. Mm -hmm. So two ways you can help. If you want to be deputized to vote, you can call me at area code 210 326 Amen. And I will give you that information to get deputized. And they uh, deputize you every Tuesday. You have to take a uh, ordination class. Amen. And it's every Tuesday at 9 a.m. And on the second Tuesday, it's 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Yes. So that's the first way you can help. The second way you can help, you can identify anyone in your congregation. Uh, on your jobs, in your home, in your community that is not registered to vote, get those names to me, amen, and we will get those individuals uh, registered. Amen. Amen. Uh, Greater good. Faith Institutional that's Church good. and the Stop the Name of Love Movement, we have vowed to register a thousand people from September to October. We can do it with your help. That's I need true. your help. I need your help. Yes. So two ways you can help us reach that goal. I believe we're going to go over a thousand. So I'm really yes. crying out to the clergymen. We got churches everywhere. Amen. Everywhere. You got Zooms everywhere. Everybody have family. You got one in your family. I got one in my family. Amen. And if you are a felon, if you're a felon also, we want to register you. Mm -hmm. uh, because we have a God, amen, yes. uh, that can do anything All but right. fail. Yes. You've been told pseudo that because you are a felon, you would never be able to vote again. That mm -hmm. is an untruth. That's true. Things Good. are changing. Yeah. Yes, praise God. And God, God is a yes. second chance God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So those yes. are some of the things yes. going on in the life of Greater Faith. Mm -hmm. Institutional Church is similar to the World's Ministry and our Stop Movement. Amen. So we are on the move. Yes. Dr. Betty, let's go into our wonderful topic today. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read for you Ecclesiastic chapter 3 and a few verses. Start at verse yes. 1. Yes. Uh, there is a time for everything mm. and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant mm. and a time to uproot. That a time to kill and a time to heal a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, amen. Mm -hmm. God wants your joy to remain. Yes. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Put your dancing shoes on. <laughs> a time to scatter stones, a time to gather them, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away. Get rid of some of the old things so God can fill your house with some new things. All Amen. Right. All right. Uh, I just hear God talking, Dr. Yes, Betty. Yes, uh, It's a time <laughs> to tear uh, and a time to mend, mm -hmm. a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak. I just told you, open your mouth and say what God says. Amen. A time to love and a time to hate. It is a time for war and a time for peace. Mm. And I'm going to close with that uh, verse 9, uh, maybe 10, 11. But it says, what do workers gain from their toil? Mm. I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. Ooh, right there. Mm. Uh, there's a burden on the human race. And then 11 say, he has 
has made everything beautiful in its, in its time. time yeah. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toils, trouble, trials, tribulations. Mm -hmm. This is the gift. This is the gift of God. Uh, I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing can be taken from it. God does it so that people will fear him, will respect him, uh, whatever is as has already been and what will be has been before wow. and God will call the past to account huh? and I saw something else under the sun in the place of judgment wickedness was there in the place of justice wickedness was there I said to myself God will bring into judgment both the righteous and the wicked for there will be a time for every activity a time to judge a deed I also said to myself, as for humans, myself, you, uh, God test them so that they may see that they are like animals. Surely the faith of human beings is like that of the animals. The same faith awaits them both as one dies, so dies the other. All have the same breath. Humans have no advantage over animals. In other words, we all have the same opportunity. Mm -hmm. Everything is meaningless. All, all go to the same place. All come from dust, and to dust all will return. Uh, who knows if the human spirit rises upward and if the spirit of the animals go down into the earth. But I'm going to stop right there. Yes. Today, Dr. Betty and I, we want to talk to you about navigating through tough or troubled times. Yes. Navigating through tr tough or uh, 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 troubled times. And that just simply means that we're navigating means moving, mm -hmm. occupying, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. being uh, present mm -hmm. in the assignment that God has mm -hmm. given you. Mm -hmm. Because you have to un understand that word navigating before you can get mm -hmm. to everything else. Because mm -hmm. all of our times yes. are different. Yes, they all are. All of our trials yes. and circumstances are different. And we may go through some of the same things, same time, or different times. Mm -hmm. But if you understand that word navigating, that just simply means God said, I'm giving you the power to go yes. through it all. Yes. And just like he was with many of the individuals, men and women in the Bible, he always said, and I am with thee. The Yes, I'm with did. you. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Vedder, let's talk about that navigating mm -hmm. uh, through trouble or tough times, mm -hmm. and I'll come yeah. back. Yes, that word navigate leans itself towards mm -hmm. guiding through, yes. walking through. Mm -hmm. How are you going to get through to mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. side to navigate? You have navigators in your car that gives you direction as to where to go or how to find a certain location. So navigating through tough times simply means God's plan mm. that he has for played out for you to get to the other side is already been lit, already been directed in the word of God. So what we are saying today is what is God's plan for you today to get to the other side? Mm -hmm. Because there is a season and a time we're in the Moedim of God, that mm -hmm. Hebrew word Moedim. We're in the, the high holy days of God, in the fall festivals of God. And he has a plan. And I'm going to tell you something. Listen to me real good. Mm. Everything that God does, there is a pattern to it. Mm. He has a pattern, a sequence. He has a way of doing things that never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what that scripture is, scripture is truly saying is, I've already laid out the script. Mm. What you have to do is choose to follow it. Because of these high holy days that he has left on record, we can look back into historicity and find out how our forefathers went through. How were they successful and how were they not successful? Mm -hmm. Because each and every one of us, God has a plan for your success. God has a way for you to come out. God has a breakthrough with your name on it. And even though we are in the most apocalyptic times that has ever existed on this planet, 
God is saying to the church, be of good comfort. I've already overcome. He said, if they hear me, they'll hear you. Our issue is we want everybody to hear us and everybody won't hear you because everybody didn't hear him. But I guarantee this, if they hear God, they'll hear you. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, if they receive me, they'll receive you. Mm -hmm. Everybody won't receive you. So I'm talking to the anointed today, those that are tired of going through trials and tribulations and all of these hellacious things that is upon the earth. I am here to tell you that God sent us today to tell you to navigate, walk through it. Come on. And for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Fear has a spirit of torment. If you are tormented, you have not been made perfect in love. Mm. We can show our love one for the other through our fellowship with one another. This is one of the reasons why the enemy don't want you to come together and congregate. Mm -hmm. Because we express love one for the other. You can navigate through these tough times by walking into your house of worship, going to your pastor, your leader, your sisters, and your brothers, and maintaining a sense of continuity. Together, kononia, come together and fellowship. You can do that. Navigate through these tough times by the love of God and by the plan that God has already laid out for you. Yes. Success is yours. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Betty. Amen. Mm -hmm. She's talking about, and we're talking about navigating through tough times. You know, the scripture tells us in Jeremiah that, that, that God knows the plans mm -hmm. that he have set for us, that yes. he have set for you and and, and, and his people, you know, because he is our God and we are his people. And, yes. and, and he loves us. Yes, he does. Uh, and there's yes. times there's times in your life God will interrupt those times. Even yes. when you think you and you think you have your day planned and, and you have your um, agenda planned for the day and all of a sudden there's an interruption in your day, in your time. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to give you a couple of examples. I love to give examples. Te yes. Jesus taught by examples. He's one yes, of the he greatest did. teacher. Yes. Uh, just recently, my auntie, my father's sister, is uh, ill in Houston, Texas. She's on her bed of affliction. And um, my cousin Rhonda and I, we called one another and I said, look, I know I have a lot going on here in San Antonio. She said, yes, you do. And she's in Austin. I said, you know what? All we can do is just go. Mm -hmm. I said, because if God called her home today, yes. I say we would still stop and put everything on the back mm -hmm. burner and go. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so again, we are navigating through tough times. So yes. I had things that were pressing. She had things that were pressing. But we look to the hills from which come at our help. And yes. we say, Father, show us what we're to do. And he said, go. Go. He go. said, go. So we went and, and I was able to lay hands and pray and mm. was able to get one of my father's sisters that live in Virginia on that, that, that Zoom type phone deal. And she was able to join in with prayer with us. But that was our time. That's but it. if we had not heard, Dr. Hey. Betty, if we had not been obedient, he yes. said obedience is better yes. than sacrifice. sacrifice. We're talking about navigating through tough times. We all have many things on our plate. Yes. We have, we have, my, my daughter had a cafe before she has called uh, uh, the Platter Cafe. Don't yeah. serve me a plate but serve me a platter we all got platters and our platters are running over yes, amen yes. and so not even that so i went down to houston came back glory to god then the next week i got a call on my mother's side that my little cousin she's 30 uh five years old mm. amen she's married seven years been with the guy 16 years amen and he was a film video producer and he was producing making a film in houston texas and somebody shot him down she unloaded 45 shells 45 bullets and only x amount hit him but how many know it'll take one to kill you all right now uh, uh yeah. but but i said lord i said now i just left from houston so i'm talking about never getting through tough times because that was not on my agenda when i woke up that morning 
doing. Amen. Turn around, I had a back. plan here That's in San Antonio. Right. Yes. So I said, okay, I, 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 I put things together. And here I'm back down in Houston. I'm on program. I'm on the stage. And, I, and I'm looking at all these people that don't know God. I'm looking at the people that do know God. And God said, I charge you to be here. This yes. is my plan. I need you to be obedient through tough times. I yes. need you to do what I'm telling you to do because I'm yes. the one that's carrying you. You're not doing it. That's You're true. not walking Amen. on your own strength. Glory to God. Yes. So I went down, did what God told me to do, came back. Glory to God. And, and then the next week, then here my brother is in Sacramento, California. He calls me on, on Saturday and says that he's getting ready to go in surgery on Sunday. This Sunday just passed. And he says, I'm all right with it, sis. I said, all right. And he says, they told me if I go in surgery that I can come out paralyzed. I can come out dead. I can come out with a stroke. All these side effects. I'm talking about navigating through tough times. Huh. I'm talking about even when the doctor give you these, these unfavorable reports. Yes. And, and, yeah. and he said, but it's well in my soul. I said, let me pray with you. One of my other brothers called and prayed with him. His pastor prayed. His wife prayed. So we had we had prayer all around him. So, so Sunday, I'm in church, and, I, and I'm, I'm ministering on Right Now Joy. Mm. Right now, joy. See, because when you're navigating through tough times, you cannot allow the enemy to steal your joy. God says in John 15, I, I give you joy that your joy might remain and that your joy might remain full. I told the congregation, my brother would want me praising God while he's in surgery, celebrating God while he's in surgery, yes. doing my dance while he's in surgery, yes. praying to my Heavenly Father while he's in surgery. Because if I was in surgery, he'll be doing the, the same thing. This is, this is navigating yes. through tough times. Yes. In other words, you don't give up, you don't quit, you go forward, you get in it. Come on, yes. somebody. Yes, 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 yes. So to everything, there's a there's a season. Yes. Dr. Betty, mm. there's a navigating season. through tough times. Yes. And you know, it, we 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 are going through some sequential things. Talk We're going it. through some some tremendous things, but in the midst of all of this, mm. what's the word of God say? What is the plan mm. navigating through tough times? Let me give you the scripture. Many are the afflictions <laughs> of the righteous, Come on now. Huh? but mm -hmm. the Lord delivered them out of them all. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? It is God. There is not, listen, there is not a man, woman, boy, or girl on this planet mm -hmm. or that has ever existed or ever will exist that will not go through some tough times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tough times. God wants tough people mm -hmm. because Tough people stands up. What's the scripture on that, Dr. Evans? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the scripture. Mm -hmm. Endure hardness right. as a good soldier. Come on. A good soldier of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I get my directives from him. I get my orders from him. I move when he say move. I go when he say go. And what we have to do as the body of Christ is remember that everything that we've gone through is going through and will go through. There is, Peter said, nothing strange mm -hmm. that God himself has not allowed himself or someone to go through in order to bring you out successfully. Mm -hmm. There is a way out. And we are telling you today, the way out to navigate through these tough times is only through the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Did you hear mm -hmm. what I said? Only through him. All that my sister's family is going through and went through. What brought her through? Mm -hmm. To be as beautiful and melodious <laughs> as she is sitting there even now mm -hmm. to look at her. Amen. It's her Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's not her. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. We think our flesh, we think mm. our, our own uh, uh, innuendos and our own personification is going to get us through. No. Listen to me, that will not work and you will fail and you will fail miserably. But I double dog dare you <laughs> to put your mind on <laughs> Jesus. He will bring you out. Yeah. He's never failed. And as they told me in Mobile, Alabama, he'll be a doctor uh -huh. in a sick room. He'll be a lawyer mm -hmm. in a courtroom. Mm -hmm. He'll be your mother when your mother's not there. Mm -hmm. He'll be your father, whatever you need. Do you hear me? We got a saying, storehouse. Mm -hmm. Anything you need, everything you need is in the storehouse it's of in, God. All you got to do is come in. Mm -hmm. What is said, people don't come in and receive it. Come on. All you got to do is receive it. Mm -hmm. 
receive it. And I'm going to tell you again, our help comes from one another. Mm -hmm. I am in contact with sis. Sis is in contact with me. Yes. And we are helpers in praying one for the yes, other. Yes. There is no need for the body of Christ to be estranged uh -huh. from one another. We are helpers one to the other. And if one is hurting, mm. our Lord told us if the toe hurts, the whole body is hurting. Mm -hmm. So that was not only sis brother. Mm -hmm and family that that's my family yes and and brother yes because we are helpers one to the other and i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna give it back over to our illustrious <laughs> bishop i call a chief mm. many strange things are going to occur but i guarantee you if you keep your focus and your eyes upon the lord yes. to navigate you through you shall come out victorious i'm telling you dr betty that is so rich amen we must keep our focus on jesus christ mm -hmm. himself because even the bible tells us it says think it not strange mm -hmm. of the fiery darts yes. amen mm -hmm. uh he also tells us no weapon formed against us shall, shall prosper, prosper. Yeah. and we're talking about navigating through tough times i mean everybody right now yes. all over the world are there somewhere dr betty they are experiencing and uh tornadoes yes. Yes. And hurricanes, uh, storms, and uh, uh, even looking at, at San Antonio, Texas, just this past February, we had a winter storm that yes. came through, and people are still, still, really. still they are. trying to recover yes, from that. That's and true. so when we have these uh, weather storms, tornadoes, or hurricanes, these come from God, yes, Dr. Betty. Yes, yes, these, yes, these, yes, these, yes, these tough times yes, come from God. Yes, and so if they come from God, it's only God that's going to be able to sustain us. Spirit, San Antonio, amen. right now, we're dealing with... Um, uh, uh, Texas, Houston, yes. Louisiana, yeah. dealing with, we just Nicholas. had, Nicholas, Nicholas is yes. here, which mm -hmm. is a storm. Yes. Uh, and I told you last month, uh, mm -hmm. all, all the hurricanes are named after women. So we have <laughs> Ida, but, but think about it. Uh, once Ida hit and then Nicholas showed up and some mm -hmm. other ones, yeah. uh, we as a people don't, don't have enough time to recover. Yes. So if we in our natural being don't have enough time to recover, yes. then we need to look to the hills from which come in our help. Yes. We need to understand that Christ is our shield and our butler. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he's our protector. Jesus. Amen. Dr. Mm -hmm. Betty say in the storehouse as well as greater faith, you know, coming to the house of God because it the is strength. a house of resources for times such mm -hmm. as these. Mm, you just said yeah, it's, something it's, it's, there. It's, 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 a, it's a place of mm. resources. Whatever you need and you're standing in need huh. God said, mm. I will supply all of your needs. Of we only talking about navigating through yes. tough times. Mm. So um, we might be talking about the things that God have created that bring the storms and, and the tough times. But what about the things that you're dealing with where you don't have shelter, you don't have food, yes. uh, you don't have finances, amen. It doesn't matter. If you can learn to receive yes. what we're saying today, yes. With yes. what God has created, yes. then it'll be easy for you to receive God in yes. the things that either you put yourself in or yes. somebody else that you've tried to bless or help put you in those situations. Because every true. man, I don't care who you are, you're one step yes. between life and death and yes. no man know where it is. You one paycheck from, from poverty. Come, Come on. on. The Amen. homeless man is not just homeless because hey. he wants to be homeless. Come Glory. on, man. Oh, Woo. something, Glory. something, something, something happened that hey. caused him to have those tough times. But Dr. Betty, we got to get ready to close this out. We have part two and we are coming back. But yes. understand, navigating in tough times. Dr. Betty, give us a final word, a closing prayer, and then I'll take it to that. It is God's will. Ooh. He said, don't worry about your tomorrow. Mm, come on. Or what you shall eat or what you shall mm, drink. Mm. Because your God, if he feeds a sparrow, mm. he will feed you. He will supply all of your needs. There God bless you and we love you. All right, we love you. Ain't a thing you can do about it. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Smile. Amen. Amen and amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain Woo! to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power.
Come on. Come on, you declare it. There 